Ephesians 4, 26 through 27. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. Funny Freddy here, Funny Freddy here. We are reading the New Testament together as a church body, and we would love you to join us. Next week, we will be reading 1st and 2nd Timothy through James. Have you heard the story about the husband and wife who were very angry at each other? So angry, in fact, they decided to give each other the silent treatment. <laughs> this went on for three days. On the evening of the third day, the husband realized he had an important business meeting the next day and he needed to catch a very early flight. He wrote his wife a note which said, I need to get up early for a flight tomorrow. Wake me up at 2 a.m. Then he put this note on his wife's nightstand where she would be sure to see it. After putting the note on her nightstand, the man went to bed. When he woke up the next morning, the sun was streaming in through the windows and the clock said 8.15. He began hollering and fussing when his eyes happened upon a note on his nightstand from his wife which read, it's 2 a.m., wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Ephesians 4, 26 through 27. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. Until next time, this is Funny Freddy reminding you that Nehemiah 8.10 says, The joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Joy unspeakable. We were just talking about that. Um, don't have words for it, but we know it's going to be good. Joy unspeakable. <laughs> I have found His grace is all complete. He supplied every need. While I sit and learn at Jesus' feet, I am free as free and deep. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory, full of glory. Unspeakable and full of glory, oh, has never yet been told. I have found the pleasure I once craved. It is joy and peace within. What a wondrous blessing! It is joy unspeakable and full of glory, full of glory, full of glory. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory, oh man, has never yet been told. I have found the joy no tongue can tell, how his waves of It is joy unspeakable and full of glory, full of glory, full of glory. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory. Oh, the sun has never yet been told. Amen. Amen. I, have, I, I never thought I was going to miss the crazy people from jail, you know. There is uh, some people who is really crazy in there. And I miss them. I miss the people who, who are preached. I miss the people and I remember them because they were, we became, we, we, we became with some kind of bondage in there. When you talk to that people, when they tell you their stories, they don't really tell you the whole story, you know, because they, they, they cannot tell you the whole story because they, they can get caught up in, in lying. And when, 
when Duron preached to them, because I used to go into the to the jail three times a, of the week. So three times out of the week, it was pretty good preaching, you know. And I got used to it. I got used to preaching. Pastor Miller and Ted, we got used to preaching there and see the happiness of, of, of people coming to the Lord. Amen. But when everything stops, everything stopped because of this uh, sickness, of this pandemic, That's the noise from where? From the from the AC? Yeah, oh, okay. AC. Uh, everything stops. And uh, it's hard for me uh, to have a, all the scripture there and not have an, not have an audience to, to preach to. So guess who is the one that I preach every day? <laughs> My wife. <laughs> We are on the table. We are on the morning on the table uh, eating, and I say, "Stop, stop! Look, look what it says right here. Um, let me, let me tell you something." Uh, and sometimes, <laughs> in the middle of the day, uh, again, and in the afternoon, again. Uh, and sometimes I see her that uh, she's she's kind of thinking, "He here he comes again, <laughs> again, again." But you know, you got so used to 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 preaching and to exposing the Word of God that you can even talk to the dog or to the to the cat or to whatever because you want to preach you know you got so used to expressing the Word and sometimes I, I, I talk to the cats and the dogs and in Spanish you know which is my which is my language I don't have, I don't have the problem I'm not speaking the, the, the language that is not my uh, but uh, when I come here with you and I try to explain things, I don't have I don't have a problem because I know you all of you are smart people, you know, and you all have. If I miss uh, if I miss a word, you know, I know you understand that because you say, oh, he's trying to say this, you know. Yeah. If I don't if I don't say it right. You catch it, because the Holy Spirit is there to tell you what exactly I'm trying to say. Amen. And this is not this is not like uh, like uh, speaking in tongues or anything like that. That this is something that the Holy Spirit is telling you right there and then. Amen. Amen. I don't speak in tongues like I said before, but if the Lord tells me to speak in tongues, I'll be happy to. I have never. I have never speak in tongues, but if the Lord says, speak, I will speak, I will say whatever he wants me to say. So we're going to go to uh, Ecclesi Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 1. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 1. Oh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, I'm sorry, Ecclesiastes 5, I was on another, I was on another book, Ecclesiastes 5, 1, and what it says, what did I say, what did, did I say was the title of the message? No, remember? I didn't say? Okay. Go to the house of the Word of the Lord to listen more than talk. Mm -hmm. Go to the house of the Lord to listen to the Word of God. When the preacher when the preacher stands over here, we should be out there, back there, listening, not really talking to each other or or, or doing this or hugging the kid or whatever. You come to the house of the Lord to listen because God is telling you something he sent someone over here to tell you something special mm -hmm. amen? amen I think we all agree on that 
the guys in jail agreed with it. And they said, yeah, yeah, this is good. And you know, I preached over there for a long time and they, they, they don't say, stop, let's stop, let's go, let's go back to the jail because they don't like, they don't, li they don't really like the, the cell. They, uh, they don't really want to be in the cell. They want to listen to the world, they want to listen to whatever is new. And this is the good news Amen. of God. Amen? Amen. So let, let, let's start reading verse 1. Keep thy food when thou goest to the house of God, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. For they consider not that they do evil. Who, who is the one who can come to to the house of the Lord and give a gift to God. The Christians, right? Not the fools, not the ones who are out there doing wrong. Christian people, believers, come to the house of the Lord and give alms. And the Lord says, if you have something, if you do something and have something against your brother, Leave your offering right there. Amen. Go and be okay with your brother. And then come back and take that offer. Mm -hmm. Give that offer to me. Because he don't want an offer that is with the wrong attitude, Amen. with the wrong heart. Amen? Amen? So when you go to the house of the Lord, be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of food. Thinking, thinking that you are good with God and you are everything and you can uh, uh, do whatever because you are not. God is in his throne and we are over here. We are like nothing before his presence. We're supposed to be humble before him. When, when Brother Ted and the, and the and the lady and and brother over here are singing. We're supposed to be praising God, Amen. not to go like like the lady who used to come to the church, and she was she was a proud lady. Those kind of ladies with a big hat, you know, <laughs> and and something over the head, the faces, and and she was proud, and she probably was rich, and she came to the church visiting and she tells the pastor I like your sermon pretty pretty much it was good pastor your sermon was pretty good but I don't like I don't like the the musicians I don't like what they sing and I don't like it at all <laughs> there are some kind of ladies like that you know some people who come here they say ah man this, this is not this is not going too good the singing is not really that good. You know what the answer of the pastor was? He said, that's a good thing, lady, because we were not praising people. We were Amen. praising God. Amen. We praise God in this church. Amen. We don't praise the people for people to come and, and think that they are, they are getting away from the... How, how do they call it when, when you... When you get away from the house, from the family, from the kids, they get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Vacation. Escaping. Some the uh, the mothers get away from the house, from the mothers. They are right, right, right. <laughs> mothers, they are. I, 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 it was hard for me to remember. That, that's what people say. That's what people think. They think they come to the church. Some people, not all of it. I don't think there is anyone here. But some people think they come to the church to be, to be uh, like, like if they go to the movies or to get distracted or to do something. Entertain. Right. Pastor, help me out, Pastor. <laughs> To be entertained. So when when they come over here to the church, 
and they will hear something that, that they like that is uh, of, their, of their conformity, they say, I don't like that church, I don't like this, and I don't like that. They always complain. They're always complaining because they are not coming with the right attitude, with the right attitude, the attitude of hearing. And their heart is not in this place. Their heart is somewhere else. What the Lord says to the Pharisees, mm -hmm. these people what? With their, with their lips, with their mouth, right? But their heart is way somewhere else. I used to tell the guys in, in jail, you can be here in jail and if you are okay with God and you, you are following God with truly heart, you can pray for your, for your son in Guatemala, Amen. Mexico, Oaxaca, whatever. And the Lord is going to send the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is going to be there because you pray here in Austin or in Bastrop. And your prayer is going to be heard over there. Amen. Do you think God can do that? Amen. He can do that and more. He can go to China, to, to whatever, Russia or whatever. The prayer of the righteous is abide to love. Amen? Amen? Let me read the second, the second verse. Be not rash thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God. For God is in heaven and thou art on earth. Therefore, let thy words be, let thy words be few. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? What is, what is, what is, uh, there are some preachers who can go 100 miles an hour preaching and saying and saying and saying and saying and saying things. By the time they finish, the audience don't, don't have anything in there. Because they don't stop to inform enough of the scripture. They just try to convince people that if they do this and they do that, they are going to be okay with God. How they call to this? How do they call these people? These preachers? Tickle ears. M motivators. 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 You know, you go to that church. The preachers tell you, if you do this, if you give ten dollars, you're going to get twenty. And if you go there and do this and do that, you're going to be blessed. Yeah, that's what the Bible says. In the last days, there is going to be preachers tingle, tingling your ears, <laughs> tingling your ears. And the thing, the thing is not that. The thing is that people listen to that people. People come to the church and listen to that preaching, to that kind of preaching. So what we have to do? In the in the in the Berea, Berea, people in in the in the Testament, in the in the old uh, no 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 in the time of Paul, he says in the time in the Berea I don't know I don't know exactly wh wh how to say that name Berea, Berea they were they were more noble. And they go back to the to their places and, and search the scriptures to see if what Paul was saying was true, right? And what we do, what we do when we hear the gospel, when we hear, when we hear the preacher say something, and we we go, oh yeah, yeah, that's true, that's, that's right, that's right. But did we go back to the house and, and go? over the scripture we're supposed to do that we're supposed to do that because god is not gonna just gonna touch you because you sit over here or or, or are listening you need to go 
and experience, experience the Bible yourself. Yes. Amen. You need to be a searcher of the truth. <clears throat> Amen? Because people like I'm here saying something, but I might not be right on some things. You think so? Yeah, yeah. And maybe you don't even understand some of the words I say. But if you go to the Bible mm -hmm. and go exactly to what I, uh, to the verses I'm reading, you're gonna find out that God is gonna speak to you, to your heart, right. to your heart. Amen. Amen. Don't let the don't let the preachers speak to your heart. Let God speak Amen. to your heart. Amen. There can be two people here sitting here. They, one, one of the brothers uh, invited somebody to come to the church and he comes the friend comes and they are sitting right there maybe, maybe he are not, I'm not pointing to anybody <laughs> they are sitting right there on those empty chairs one, the one on the left is all oh yeah yeah this, this, this is good this is, this is pretty good preaching and the one on the other side is saying, this man is crazy. <laughs> you know? Man. That's what it happens. The Holy Spirit is convicting one person and the other one is rejecting the gospel. Yes. That's the way, that's the way, exactly the way the Holy Spirit works in people. Because for, because for him, <coughs> For him, there is no. Um, is there any water? Yeah. It's not open yet. Okay, thank you. Because there is nothing impossible for God. And if He is with us, who can be against us? Amen. Amen? That's what the Bible says. I'm just explaining, uh, trying to explain the Bible. So. Well, I'm not going to look at that. <laughs> Verse 3. <clears throat> For a dream come true, the multitude... For a dream come the multitude of business, and a fool's voice is known by multitude of words. That's that's explaining it. That's explaining it right there. Mm -hmm. Have you seen people, especially in jail, people talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, and you know what? They are just lying. Mm -hmm. When they when they finish all the talk that they supposed to say every day, they don't have anything else to say, and they start lying and lying and lying and lying. You know that happens everywhere, not just in jail. I'm not against the people over there, but uh, I tell the people there, you don't have to, uh, the, fr the first question people ask, when someone go gets in the, in the jail, they ask him, what are you in here for? What you came in for? And they, the people, the one who is in there, he's, he usually lying. Oh, uh, 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 it was just a ticket. I, I just got a ticket. No. Yeah. He got in big trouble, but he didn't want to say it, you know. And I tell the guys in there, don't ask him. Don't ask yourselves to each other why the other is in here. You just look at him. Hear what he's talking. And you're going to find out why he is in jail. Amen? Amen. People give up themselves by their, their tongue. Mm -hmm. What the Bible says? The, the life. The life and there is in the tongue. Okay. The abundance of the heart, that's, that's true too. From the abundance of the heart speaks the tongue. People talk whatever is in there. So when you try, when you want to know people, you listen to them. You listen. I have that. I have that. Uh, I have that experience. I never talk too much. I don't talk too much. I'm a quiet man, but I'm just listening. I like to listen. 
I like to listen to, to boys, I like to listen to, to all people, I like to listen because that tells me a lot about them. And I, that way I can react to it and tell them something that is wrong on what they are doing. Amen? Let me go to the next. <coughs> when thou bo boast about, about unto God, differ not to pay it, for he had not, no pleasure in fools. Pay that which thou hast bought. Better, it, better is better is it that thou shalt not bow than that thou shalt bow and not pay. Amen. Amen. I have told this. I have told this to the to the guys in jail. You are here with a big problem. You are here with a big problem in your in your shoulders, and you are. Yeah, you are apt to say, God, if you take me out of here, I'm going to be a Christian, I'm going to become a Christian, I'm going to go to church, and I'm going to do this, and, and you're going to promise all kind of pro and you give all kinds of promises. But you're not going to keep them. Most of you, I, say, I tell them, most of you are not going to keep that promise. Because you are not promising with your heart. You are just promising out of and the situation make you do that because you are despair about what's happening out there. What is happening outside, it, it, it makes you go crazy. And the only thing that you have close by you is God. Amen? Amen. So they lie. They, people lie. People lie. When, when, when I was... Uh, when my son Peter Pedro uh, was little, he was little, he was like, I don't know, he was little, he was a baby. I got a append appendix removed and I was dying because the appendix ruptured, ruptured appendix. And my wife used to tell me, let me take you to the doctor. And I say, no, 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 I'm okay, I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> Nothing happened to me. I'm I'm a macho man. <laughs> the first day it was okay. I, I even go to work and and do, but I was I was hurting pretty bad. But I say, no, nah, this is nothing. This is not. And I never go to I never go to the hospital. I'm 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 well. I'm good. And my wife keeps telling me, let me take you. I can drive you over there. No, no, no. On the third day, I was trying to get up from bed, and the whole leg gave up on me. I fall. No. I tell my wife, you know what? Take me to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Take me to the hospital and fast because it hurts too much. So he, she take me to the hospital, and they look at it, and they said, Listen to what the doctor says. He checked me out, you know, and, and, and do all the, the examination. And he said, you know, in the, in the past few weeks, I have, I have lost two people <laughs> because of that. And I say, oh, OK. <laughs> you lost two people because of a pending? <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to try my best with you because you're because <laughs> Because your 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 appendix your appendix was already ruptured ruptured yeah. it was it was already uh, you know killing me from the inside that's why I was hurting so much so my son when I when I was in the in, in they put you a mask and they they make you go to sleep you know and I was thinking that. And my son, I was thinking of my son, and I tell the Lord, Lord, let, let me go through this. I was not even a Christian. I, was, I didn't know anything about God. I, I, I used to go to church in Mexico when I was like 14 or 13, but I didn't know the Lord. And I asked God, 
Lord, let me go through this. I want to see my son. I want to raise my son, Pedro. I don't want him to be alone. I, and he was the only one. I have other kids, and, and he was the only one. Forget about the others. <laughs> 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 this, one, this one is the one I want. I want to live for him. The other ones, I don't know how they're going to do it. But this <laughs> so I promised to God that I go to church and I was going to be a good Christian and I was going to be doing things for him. You know, and I, and I keep the promise. I keep the promise. I, 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 my wife and I and, and, and I, all the kids go to church, go to church. We were, we were getting all dressed up to go to church and, and listen to the message and, and everything was good. But then the devil got in that, in that place. The brothers started fighting against brothers, yelling in, inside, inside like, like right here, the, the daughter yelling to the, to the father over there. I'm saying cur curse words, really, it's really bad. And I say, this is church? You know what the devil uses? Yeah. That's what the devil uses. Yeah. And I say, no, this is not, this is not gonna, ha this is not gonna work. So we left the church. To ne <coughs> no, we don't come back, we never, we never come back to church. It happened, it was a long time after we went back because of someone in the church cursing and fighting and doing crazy things. So I wasted a lot of, a lot of years, many years of my life being, doing crazy things in the world. And the devil did it good, you know, because I don't want to. I don't want to go to church for a long time until he got he grabbed me back through my daughter, through my wife, and through my wife. Amen. I used to go home and fight with her, and and do every, every time I came home, the excuse was, "Why are you asking me where I was? Why are you five, 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 five? You know." And I was get, I was telling this is this uh, testimony to brother brother Rudy yesterday, and I tell him look what look how the Lord grabbed my attention back. I got lost I got lost over there somewhere in Dallas because I was too drunk, and instead of going to Houston, I went to Dallas. I ended up being in jail over there. The policeman says, you know what? You know what I'm going to do to you now that you're in there? No, he, he, he told me that the next day. You know what I'm going to do to you? No, what, what, what? Uh, I'm not going to give you water. No. You know what happened to, to drunk people when they, the next day when they don't drink water? They get sick. They get really sick. And the police said, I'm going to do that to you. Why? What happened? You don't remember? When I stopped you, you don't remember? You cursed me and threw me things and you were going all crazy. You don't remember nothing. No? Well, I'm going to do that to you. And the other, the other friend that was with me asked me, what is he saying? No water for us. No, no, no. <laughs> he, he was, he was, uh, well, I don't know. I think both of us were in the same situation. But they don't give us water. Then my wife, I got lost for three days in that place because they don't want, they don't want, they don't let me call anywhere. So when my wife, I don't know how she did it, she found out that I was in that jail, my wife went over there and, and picked me up and brought me to Austin. So by that time, 
uh, she she was looking for me. She was looking for me in, 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 in the friends' houses, for the friends who I used to drink with. And she uh, went to the house of one of my friends. And that, that friend of mine says, no, we don't, we don't, I don't drink anymore. I don't know where he is. I invite you to church. I invite you to go to church tomorrow. And my wife went to the church. You know what happened? She received the Lord in that place. Amen. She received the Lord. That, in those days, she was a complete new person. Amen. And you know what? Even that I was drunk when I came home, I can see, I can see in her face the change, the change. And God, and God showed me, God showed me the, the face because I was out of my mind. I was not even, uh, my mind was so crazy. And I saw her face and I thought, you're not gonna fight with me anymore. What do they do to you in that church? I'm gonna go find that. <laughs> I'm gonna go and find out what they they they're telling you. So no, you know you know you know what happened, right? Do you know what happened? You had an encounter with God. I went I went to find out why she was so quiet and why she was so changed. The Lord is gonna change us. He used to tell me. No, 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 I don't want the Lord to change me because I'm going to be your, more your defect you have. <laughs> I'm going to go find out what, what, what's, what's going on over there. You know, do you want someone to think like that, Pastor? To come over here to find out what's going on in here? Amen. We all want that. <laughs> I used to tell my, I tell my sons and daughters, if you have problems, is because of you not going to the Lord. You have problems with your children, you have problems in this and that, it's because you don't receive the Lord. And most of us, when we were out there, we were going crazy, we were doing crazy stuff, because we all need Jesus in our heart. Amen? Let me, let me try to finish this up. Um, better not to promise, right? It's better not to promise and not, and not keep the promise than to uh, promise and then to... I got messed up right there. No promise. Don't, don't make a promise that you're not going to keep. Mm -hmm. Alright? Mm -hmm. God is not... God is not happy with that. This, it says uh, in verse... Uh, what is it? Okay. So, six? Yes, six. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Rather say, thou before the angel, that it was an error. Wherefore shall God be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thy hands? Mm -hmm. Destroy the work of thy hands. You know, we all make excuses. When things happen to us, we say, oh, I promised this to God, but I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I think I'm, I, I'm supposed to be excused because I didn't know. And the Apostle, the apostle Paul said it this way uh, when, when, he, when he said he, when he said he was killing Christians, he says, I thank the Lord, forgive me. Because I did it in what? Ignorance. ignorance. I did it in ignorance. I was an ignorant. That's why, that's why I was doing all those things. So what it happens? God forgive everything we do. Amen? Some people in jail says, I don't think I, I don't think I deserve. I can I don't think I can come to God. And ask him for forgiveness because I used to beat up on my wife because I kill, because I do this, because I do that. I don't think God is going to forgive me. But God forgave all those sins. That's why he came to this world. Amen. He came to rescue the ones who are doing all those things. He didn't come to the ones who are okay and 
and doing good things, he came to the sick people. Amen? Amen. Okay, let me keep going. For in the multitude of dreams and many wars, there are also divers vanities. But fear thou God. But fear God. He does seize the oppression of the poor and violent perverting of judgment and justice in the province. Marvel not at the matter for he that is higher than the highest regarded and there be higher than they. Moreover, moreover, the prophet of the earth is for all. The king himself is served by the field. I'm going to stop her right there. Amen? <laughs> because we, we have just 30 minutes. And uh, I think I already went over that. I thank you for listening. I thank you for, for giving the opportunity. And meanwhile, I'm going to keep preaching to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, let me pray. Let me pray to finish. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that you, that you put before me, from before us, to hear. As the apostle says, we're supposed to humble and be on our knees before you. Every time, every time we come to you, we're supposed to be a humble people. If we are to be called Christians, yeah. we're supposed to do what you show us to do. Not to say, I can do it, I'm not gonna do it, but be ready to do whatever, whatever is, is, is you put before us. And to, feel, and to fulfill what we promise. Mm -hmm. And not to promise if we don't have the desire to do it. I thank you, Lord, for, for this church. Because we have been here for, for years. And we love these people. We love everyone in this place. Give us the opportunity, Lord, to come back here and and be a blessing to someone here. Yes. I know there is someone, I know there is someone who is going to be blessed by your word. Mm -hmm. And I thank you, Lord, for everything you do okay. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you.